this is my pattern my pant pattern okay <laughs> to cut the beautiful um, jumpsuit that you saw this is my measurement is for a client not for myself the shoulder is 15 the bust is 36 the hip is 42 the flap up is 27 flap down is 22 the flap center that is I measured it from shoulder I got 31 on my client's body the full length is 62 while the half length is 17. So please don't go stay tuned till I finish the cutting. I hope you're gonna learn a lot. Don't forget to subscribe. It is very important. Share also and tell your friends about me. Thank you for staying till this moment. This is my fabric for the jumpsuit. So before you do any cutting, you have to inspect your fabric. It stretches so this way that stretches it go, is going to be along the get and this will be along the length hope you understood what I said this will be along the length like from your shoulder down but this will be along the get round the body so here is how I'm gonna fold what I do is to get the length of my pants the length is 62 and I'll add extra two inches. I mark. This extra two inches is for hemming allowance. Then I mark. Then the half length is 17. I add half up here. This is my half length. Then this is the flap of which is 31, but I usually remove it uh, one inch. So it's gonna be 30. I'll mark 30 here. Then the flap down from shoulder to me is 41. I got it on my clients. So these are the first lines that are marked, half length, that is the waist, uh, flap up, that is the crush, flap down, length, and hemming allowance. And I take my tape, the flap up, you can see my flap up here is 27. So this is the space I'm going to use to draft the entire pattern. This is very important. So it is 27 divided by 2 to give me 13 and half and I add half inch allowance. So it's now 14. Then I mark. Come up here. Mark 14. Here. Mark 14. Here. I mark my 14 so it's gonna be 14 throughout so let's let's mark it out for proper visibility so this is the space for my work now the next thing I do is to divide this space into two. Pay attention and don't go away. So 14 by 2 give me 7. 
14 by 2 will give me 7. So I mark throughout my entire piece 7 and I join the lines again. I prefer doing it this way because it makes my work easier. Makes my work easier. Makes it easier. Yeah, throughout. So the flap down round is 22. So when I come down to this place, 22 into 2 will give me 11. And I add my half inch seam allowance is 11 and a half. So when you divide the 11 and a half into 2, I have to balance it on this line. This is the line of symmetry of my pants. So it is five three quarter and I balance it. It's now here and here. It's now here and here. So, and when I come to this down, I would like the pants to be a little bit free, not palazzo. So since I used 11 and a half here, I'm going to use 12 here. So I mark, I balanced my 12 on the line of symmetry. The half of it is 6. So I balance it here, 6. And by this side, 6, which is 12. So I'll now join the lines together. This is drafting. The same way you are doing it on the pattern direct is still the same way you do it on a paper pattern. This is pattern drafting on the fabric direct. So it is the same method that you use and draft it on your paper or pattern paper rather. So please, if you like what I'm doing, do not hesitate to subscribe to my channel. Can see that the space here is bigger than the space here so it will flay out a little bit to the down this is my pant curve that is what i'm using so i want here to be the inside the center and here will be the side the shaping side so see how i'm gonna join these two lines this is the flap up this is the knee so i join them like this okay so this is still the hip I join it like this hope you are seeing what I'm doing hope you are seeing it so up here the waist is to what i showed you i have 32 divided by 4 it give me 8 so i have to make sure i also balance it here i don't like adding any allowance to the waist because i'll still add allowance at the back so i do it here like this okay sorry i have to add my half the half inch i usually add to every other place and i'll try to join let me use my free hands i prefer this more than any other curve so as i have my three inches here i come down here i do two inches Use my small ruler and join. Then curve. Yeah, the pattern is ready. Since this is jumpsuit, I'm not gonna slant here. If it is normal pants, I'll slant here 
this is the way I also draft my pants pattern this is my pattern my pant pattern hope you can see it's time to cut the back when you want to cut you take one piece and leave one out of it so I choose to take this one when I place I'll have to give one inch by this side the hip side that's the way I do it so before I leave the space I'll first of all use my chalk and mark it out I have to mark it out using the shape I already have So I shift slowly and use my tape to make sure it is one inch space that I have. It's one inch. You have to measure it one inch throughout. Make sure it is one inch. This side, if it is pants, I have to add extra here, like say two inches, and I add two and a half inches here. But because this is uh, jumpsuit. I'm not adding anything here so I have to pick the one that I'll add here and add it to the one that I'll add here so you know coupled with my client has big back side so you know I'm gonna do um, four and a half inches here it's too much yes but that is what I need so by this side I have to add two inches and by this side one inch and one inch one inch till the end so then here I have to add one and a half inch will it have zipper okay so I have to add one inch have to add one inch then add my zipper allowance which is another one inch so this one inch down down like this like this slowly curve into this then your one inch zipper allowance like this and cut I use my curve again see how I'm joining it this is my mark and another mark so I join I use my free hand and join. So hope you are seeing this space that is here. This is for that allowance. I purposely leave this gap because I'll use it to that to help the the back shoot out to sit well in my jumpsuit. So that is the end of the pants drafting. So the next thing is to cut. Yes, it's not that it's going helpful. Do you check here? Anyway? This is my full pattern. The front, you can see the shape of the front. You can see. The shape of the front and this is the down I have this excess because of the backside shape and this is uh, the zipper allowance and this extra is for that when you that's it it will help to pop for the bum bum allowance so time to draft the bodies half length is 17 and I add half inch down, half inch up. See my allowance. The folded part is the center front. Is the center. I'm drafting the front pattern. The folded part is the center. Why here will be the side. So as I put my tape, I'm going to do it 18. I mark. That's a shoulder line. This is what? Shoulder line. 
the lime because it's um because it is uh, together sleeve I mark at 12 because the comfort of my client is very important so from here I get my 21 along the shoulder line I get my 21 this is 21 and I mark this is my workspace that you are seeing then the normal shoulder of my client is 15 mark the 15 here and from here I do my normal slanting but here will be like 3 inches you see it so I have to slant look at the way I started freehand you can still use your tape uh, your, your ruler or any of your curves you can see it right so I have to join these to here then the bust of my client is 36 are you sure your measurement is 36 36 divided by 4 will give me 4 is 9 plus 2 inches allowance it's 11 you see the angle here no 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 I don't need it so I have to curve it this way this of my client is 32 so 32 divided by 4 is 8 I have I have to add my 2 inches which is 10 then I join from my curve down here this is my Client's uh, sleeve. Let me check. Let me check this ground sleeve. I have 11, which is five and a half. When you add half inch up and add one inch down, it's now seven. So, but I want it a little bit more, so I have to use the entire um, space that is here. So, it's cut in time. have to notch the center very important notch the center then I spread I want to show you I want to demonstrate to you how you are gonna sew this after drafting according to my pattern this is the right this is the front the right side of my part my fabric this is the right and this is the left by the left it is open I have to measure out the neck from here the neck is supposed to be three so from here now I have my train so from this tree now listen very well that I'm notching you have to sew the entire side then from here now to this space let me use like uh, seven inches I have to notch it so this space now is gonna be open 18 throughout then bring out my zipper which is one inch from up to down then from here I have to measure 21 down then from here I have to measure my normal shoulder which is seven and a half. I like marking this on my not on my together shoulder because it serves as a guide to what I'm about to do. Then I have to get my three inches here. Hope you are following me. Join. Then from here I get my 12, from here I get my bust, I use the level for front, that is 36 by 4, it's 9 plus 2 inches, it's 11. Then down here is 30, 32, divided by 4 is 8 plus 2 inches is 10. So I call yeah you can see 
I am gone.